Squad, and welcome to the show, people. Here we are with some Black Ops gameplay. Well, guess what? We're going to be talking about some uh, Black Ops 2 info right here. So I'm, I'm kind of messing with the spectating option right here. It takes a little while to get used to it. So the gameplay will start. It's definitely not great gameplay. In fact, it's quite terrible for me. Um, I just ran out of time, and I threw it in there. It's a uh, drive-in, one of my favorite maps on the DLC packs. Anyway... Let's get into some Black Ops 2 info, since we don't have much time. We got about 8 minutes of the recording. So let's get started. Let's get started with the multiplayer first. Let's get started with the weapons, actually. So, I'm just going to say I'm kind of listing. I'll show you some images of, you know, what their powers are, how good they are, and uh, some of my thoughts. So, for the assault rifles, our first gun that you're going to unlock is the M8A1. Yes, the M8A1. Uh... Hopefully it'll be a good gun for a starting whip. Uh, next is Scar H, which is has appeared in Modern Warfare 2, if I believe I'm correct. And um, the next one I'm excited about is AN94. Now, this gun I'm extremely excited about. It's a gun that you can uh, feather the trigger basically, and you can um, you know, stop shoot, stop shoot, and you'll get faster rate of fire for every second shot you do that. Really cool. Then you have the SIG 556, the Type 25. Now the Type 25 is basically just a full auto version of the Type 95. I have a feeling this is going to be the noob weapon looking at all of the um, gameplays and stuff. It looks like a lot of people are using it. it seems to be a really good whip. I'm not sure if it's going to be overpowered or what, but let's go on the next rep. Then you have the SA-58, then the SMR, the M27, and the MTO. They are. So now let's go on to shotguns. The shotguns we have um four. We have the R eight seven zero MCS, the M one two one six, the Siagi twelve. The Siagi twelve is so, wasn't uh, Battlefield three. It wasn't called the Siagi twelve. I don't think the Siagi is a good shotgun in Battlefield three. So you know who knows it'll be good in this. The KSG. This is new for Black Ops. It was originally in Modern for three, and I love this shotgun to death. It's supposed to be a pump-action gun with high damage, and it's just supposed to blow away every other gun. So, for light machine guns, which I'm not too excited about these, because I've never liked light machine guns in these games, um, we have the MK-48, the QBBLSW, the LSAT, and the HM HAMR, the hammer, basically. Okay. So we have those, and let's go into snipers. Snipers we have exactly four snipers. So what we got here is the ballista. Now the ballista I think is going to be the most popular. It is the basically the MSR. It's bolt action, and it um I think it's going to be the big quick scoping whip. I think it's honestly going to be it. Um, it's the first weapon you unlock, so that's good. And uh, as we go on, we have the SVUAS, which I think is going to be like the Brett, um, the Bretta. I think it's, uh, correct me, I think it's Brett, that one sniper, the Brett from R for 3. And uh, next we have the DSR-50, and then the XPR-50. So those are cool. For specials, we have the Assault Shield, which is supposedly the one where you can place down your assault rifle and or your assault shield which is a riot shield and it turns into a machine gun or like a little uh, area for you to place your machine gun which I think is beyond awesome so that's the only special next we have submachine guns we have one two three four five six seven of these your first one you unlock is the mp7 that is a big surprise for me now that gun was dominant in Modern Warfare 3 and um it was very good a lot of people aren't expecting much now since the first machine gun, but there's so many really good first machine guns. Everyone looks down on them saying they're terrible. I love some of the first machine guns. Next we have the Scorpion Evo 3. And um, that's just going to be the Scorpions, but futurized. And then we have the PDW 57, which is the Personal Defense Weapon 57. Now, the PDW is in Battlefield 3. My favorite weapon in that game, my favorite uh, submachine gun basically, actually is an assault rifle in the game. Um, great game, or great weapon in the game. Uh, I loved it. Next we have the Chico 
CQB, CQB, which is close quarters battle. I don't know. I think it's it's close quarters something. The next we have the MSMC, which is gonna be cool. I think I'm not sure. I think it's gonna be one of the average webs. Next we have the Victor K10. The uh, the Vector. I called it Victor. Whoops. The Vector. Now I've logged the Vector in every game it's ever appeared in. I don't think it's ever appeared in a Call of Duty. One of my favorite webs to use in. I used it a lot in Brink. <laughs> Nobody liked Brink, of course. Anyway, I get. You know we're running out of time here, so I got to get to the maps now. The maps I'm excited about. So we have Aftermath, which is basically Los Angeles, like a ruined Los Angeles. Come on, Call of Duty, can't you just come out with some maps that aren't ruined, like Drive In here? I mean, ruining a whole entire map and make it all rubble isn't exactly interesting. But anyway, it's supposed to be a close combat uh, area. Next we have Cargo, um, lots of close quarter engagements, which is based in like a cargo area. Next we have Carrier, which is um. Is another great. It's like a boat with another great area for close quarter fighting. And we have drone, which is um basically in the Miner. Am I reading this right? The Miner Manamer jungles inside a hidden drone facility, and um it's supposed to be very fun close quarter fights through the facility. Basically that express, which is going to be good long to medium engagements inside Los Angeles Bullet Train Center. I'm actually so it's going to be Bullet Train Center. I'm actually reading these, um, I should have said this earlier, I'm actually reading these, I got these from the, uh, I'll have to look at the website, I'll put it in the end, but it's a very good website, it shows you everything you know about, you know, about Black Ops 2, and, uh, I highly recommend checking it out. And next we have Hijacked. This one I am beyond excited about, it is, um, it's gonna be epic, it's basically like the nuke town of Black Ops 2, besides Nuke Town 2025. It's a frantic close quarters engagement on a luxurious super yacht. Which I'm excited about. You see a lot of gameplays on that. Next is Meltdown, which is a battle over the cooling tower and the surrounding facilities of a Pakistan nuclear power plant. Kind of interesting. Overflow, um, which is great urban engagements in the flood streets of Pe Peshawar, Pakistan. Plaza, frantic close quarter engagements with tight corners and angles throughout a floating resort in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Next, we have Raid, hectic close quarters engagements through a hillside mansion in Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah. Next we have slums, which is gonna be like village, basically. It's gonna be close quarters, um, like village a lot. Uh, standoff. It's going to be just classic Call of Duty engagements in a border town between China and Kyrgyzstan. Turbine is gonna be like Afghan from uh, Monster 2. Very excited. It's like a you know, kind of desert area. I'm excited about that one too. Um, next we have Yemen, which is like an urban area with a uh, close quarters engagement engagement and um okay sorry guys it kind of cut out i decided to go into some of my uh original black ops zombies uh gameplay here um to talk about some black ops 2 zombies i'm excited it, this is i think the most amazing part i think i'm most excited about so let's get into the information i got a little bit of time so let's see so for modes for the game modes we have, we have Grief, which is going to be eight players versing against each other to get the most points. You can't actually kill the other survivors, but you're just on different parts of the map and you try to survive. Next is Transit, which is going to be the big open world filled with different things to do and different places to explore. And you're also going to be riding a bus around the humongous map. You know, it's just basically five maps combined. Very cool. Then you have Survival, which takes those five maps in Transit and splits them up. So you have around five or six different maps from Transit, which is also pretty cool. And it's going to follow the same techniques from the original Black Ops Zombies. Next for features, we have Elite. Call of Duty Elite is going to be free, and you can actually use it for zombies, too, to see who's good, who's bad, and who you want to play with. So, next, we have Buildable Weapons. This is going to be freaking epic. You can find items around the map and use them to build different weapons, which is very cool. Then you have electric zombies, which can walk around, and supposedly you can power perk machines with them, which would be even cooler because you wouldn't need to turn on the power. And then uh, next we got Nuketown zombies. For any of you that pre-ordered and hardened edition, you got that, which I am so jealous for you guys. Goodness gracious, I want that. But um, they should release it back, you know, for some sort of fee or something. But I'm guessing they would. Anyway, so. 
next we have a new wonder gun no one's released info on it i'm excited and uh there should be several new wonder guns but there's one that they talked about in their trailer or at least showed it a little bit next we have the new riot shield which you can build into zombies you know what in the butt on the last info i got um is uh you can actually upgrade the bus you're riding, which is really cool. Anyway, I gotta finish it up right now. So, please subscribe if you want to see some Black Ops 2 gameplay. And who knows, I might even get up some Halo 4 gameplay tomorrow. Because, in fact, I am getting the game tomorrow. Because I am freaking pumped about that, too. So, please subscribe. Please comment. Please like. And please be awesome. The end.